What's up Ozones, welcome to the Ozone and welcome to another video. It's been a while. <laughs> yeah, I've had uh, I've had some mental health issues recently, but nothing too bad to worry about. Uh, I've also got exams this month, so I may not be fully back yet, but uh, uh, I I'm trying my best, okay? I will definitely be back for summer, that's gonna be a lot of fun, I think. I'm gonna make video after video after video. But I'm back because we have a little bit of book news. Uh, this actually, most of it came out like a week ago, um, but I just didn't cover it because I wasn't here. Um, but I've also got something for you that has been given to us today, which is very exciting. Uh, so we're going to cover all of that today. Make sure that if you enjoy this video that you give it a like, and of course you subscribe for future FNAF book news and other news, I guess, if there ever is any. So what do we start with? I guess we should just start with the, the small thing, uh, Lally's Game, uh, which is coming out in July, I believe. It's the next FNAF book technically to come out. Yeah, so Felix the Shark is out, Lally's Game, Tales from the Peter Plex is the next book series, if you haven't heard, if you've been living under a rock. And uh, nothing really that new, um, just that kind of like a description of the book which we've already seen. We don't have the, the third story's name yet, uh, of course we have Lally's Game, then we have Frailty, but then we have a third story which we don't know, and we have epilogues. Remember that we have epilogues in these books, which is very exciting. But one thing I do want to point out that other people have been pointing out is that in the sales points it says that the highly anticipated new follow-up series to FNAF Fazbear Frights. Now, I want to get something straight here. A lot of people have been thinking that that means that this is a direct sequel. Um, in my opinion, I don't think that's what it means at all. Again, in my personal opinion, I believe that the Fazbear Frights are completely or, or most of the stories are connected to the game's timeline i am going to make a video about that soon hopefully i've been working with a few guys on that but uh even if you believe that or not i don't think that lally's game is like directly a continuation after first before Frights. i do believe it is supposed to take place you know in the kind of like the region where the pizza plex is alive and kind of like security breach, maybe before, maybe after. I'm not too sure about that. But um, this is definitely a follow-up series, but it doesn't necessarily mean it is a sequel or a prequel, if that's even possible. So I don't think we're gonna see the Stitch Wraith. I don't think we're gonna see Detective Larson. I don't think we're gonna see Eleanor. We could see Eleanor, I don't know about that though. We could see Afton, uh, but I don't think that makes it a sequel to the series. I really think that Phasma Frights was its own series, it's kind of connected to the game's timeline. I think that Tales from the Peterplex is going to be its own series, kind of direct, kind of connected to the timeline. So I think it's kind of the same thing as Phasma Frights, but not necessarily connected. That's a lot of talking, uh, but yeah, that, that's kind of like the main thing I wanted to point out about this. A lot of people have been saying, oh my god, this is going to be Phasma Frights the sequel, but I don't think it's going to be connected to Phasma Frights in that sort of way. Okay, that was a lot of speaking. Now let's get back on to Phasma Frights, the graphic novels. Okay, so we, we've got a lot of news about this. Um, I'm really excited about the graphic novels. Uh, we actually have a little bit of a teaser uh, for the first volume of graphic novels. So we have this picture, which is obviously similar to the one you just saw of Tales from the Peterplex. But yeah, strangely, we actually have two images next to the cover, which I will talk about in a second. But uh, you look at the description, you still see Into the Pit, To Be Beautiful and Out of Stock, which is something that you're gonna have to remember in a second. Uh, obviously we have Out of Stock, the plush trap chaser on the front cover. Um, so it, that's pretty much confirmed that Out of Stock will be in the first volume. Which is strange, you would think that maybe there were 12 volumes of graphic novels for... Or, or 12... You would think that there were 12 graphic novels as well, but I don't think there are going to be, I think there's going to be less. That's something that you guys are going to have to theorise about in the comments, because I'm not too sure why, you know, Count the Ways was left out. That is completely canon to the Stitch Raid story, uh, and like there's no reason for them to leave it out. I think that's actually quite a good story They could do that well in graphic novels as well. I'm not too sure 
But something that you also need to remember is that the second volume of the graphic novels, which we're going to go, go talk about in a minute, has Out of Stock, Room for One More and The New Kid. Okay? Out of Stock from the second book, but also primarily featured in the first volume of graphic novels, Room for One More, which is the second story in the third book, and The New Kid, which is the third story in the third book. They missed out 1.35am, I mean, they missed out Fetch and Lonely Freddy. Like, there's a lot of weird stuff going on here, and Out of Stock apparently features in both the graphic novels, so like, I don't know what's going on here. Uh, obviously there must be some sort of mistake, or... <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea what's happening. Really, I would love to see some of the other stories featured, uh, but I mean it's okay if we don't. It seems like we are going through the stories, missing out the odd few, but I don't really know why. That would be nice to to, to know. But uh, the first volume of the graphic novels is coming out September 6th, 2022. The second volume is out March 7th, 2023. So there's like a whole six month gap there. Uh, I think it's even it's longer than six months, and I don't know if that's going to be consistent with the graphic novels, but these probably do take longer to make than the original Fazbear Frights, so I'm not too disappointed about that. I can wait, I guess. So let's finally get into what you've been waiting for, uh, and that is these images that we see next to the cover. They're really cool, and actually there's a way that you can go to this website and you can basically inspect elements and stuff like that, blah 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 blah, and you can find the full Into the Pit image. Um, it doesn't really, like, cover much, it's just really cool to see, like, a preview of what these are going to look like. I really love the bursts of colours in this, they're really cool. It seems like, I don't know if they're going to be, like, completely accurate, obviously the graphic novels for the original trilogy weren't really that accurate to the actual words in the original novels, but they seem pretty, pretty good, actually. I, I actually really like how they're presented here, and they don't seem that boring, and here's like the fear that I've always had with like graphic novels, is that with the Phasma Frights, I have such a good like imagination of how these stories play out and what the animatronics look like and stuff like that. My fear with the graphic novels is that they're going to change that perception and I don't really want that. Uh, I want to keep that really cool imagination in my head and not see like a weird artwork of it. If you know what, do you know what I mean? Like sometimes you can't really convert fear into in like drawing or con convey fear in drawings. Um, and I and I hope that they do it well, and I hope that they skip out stories, <laughs> like, in the flesh. <laughs> but yeah, one thing I do want to say about this is they have literally spoiled the ending of To Be Beautiful. <laughs> they spoiled the ending of To Be Beautiful in this preview, which I'm not, I'm not too sure about that choice, but sure. I do think that these are going to be good. I, I am going to read through them, uh, on my channel. I was thinking about doing a kind of like a, what's it called? Ah! I was thinking about getting a few people together and, you know, recording the lines and stuff for these graphic novels. I believe Chris from Elementor Studios, uh, who I will have a link to in the description, is actually doing that sort of thing, like voiceovers, for the original graphic novels, which is really cool. I really love that idea. I was thinking about doing it once, but it's a lot of work, and I applaud you for, do, for actually attempting to do that, um, and doing it well as well. But I'm hoping to do something like that with these graphic novels, um, because like, you know, the, the Fazbear Frights mean a lot to me, and it's really cool to see them come into fruition through art and stuff, uh, and I really want to... Yeah, I, I want to make cool videos on them. <laughs> okay, and the final thing I guess we should talk about is the cover for the second collection of graphic novels. And here it is. I really like it. I think it's really cool. Uh, I, I don't think it's like mind-blowing, uh, but I really like the blue in the background uh, and the, the smiles are creepy, man. 
they are creepier than the actual mini arenas in the games. Uh, this is clearly a reference to Room for One More. <laughs> uh, so I think really Room for One More is confirmed to be in the second book, but this is all really weird about these stories. I don't know what, what is happening. Strangely, if you look at the first volume cover and the second volume cover, they seem a little bit inconsistent. Just a little bit. Kind of... I don't know. I don't really like the the, co the cover for the first volume. Um, it, it just seems a bit messy. This one's a lot better. Um, but yeah. Man, I'm so excited to see things like Room for One More. Uh, you know, in... <laughs> in comic form. That's gonna be so cool. Oh my gosh. So I feel like this video has been a bit messy, but I'm sorry. I am a bit of a mess right now. I have an exam tomorrow, so wish me luck. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, it's been a while since I made videos, so just chill, okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited with all this news. Uh, I cannot wait for Lally's game to come out, and I cannot wait for the first uh, graphic novel collection to come out in September of 2022. Yeah, that's that's gonna be so exciting. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in a future video sometime. <laughs> I've been Ozone, but I have to go Zone. See you later. Goodbye. <laughs>